Welcome, welcome to what is going to be quite a weird stream. It is, um, it's a strange feeling. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll put you on, put you on camera. Hello. It is, uh, hi, Alex. Hello, Rooney Runes. Uh, and anyone else that is watching, um, I'm surprised there are people here. <laughs> this is going to be a very weird stream, uh, in that, uh, Normally when I go into streams, even if I'm like making something, I have a vague idea of uh, what I'm going to be doing. Whereas these streams, th this stream and the streams that we're going to be doing over the weekend, um, I don't really know what's going to come out of them. So I'm, I'm just hoping, I'm hoping that something good comes out of it. I, I had a brief look at the... Uh... Actually, you know, let's start from the beginning. So, what... I'm doing this weekend. This weekend, uh, this week, uh, from December 10th to uh, December 19th, um, I'm taking part in this. This is the OST Composing Jam. It is a... I'm just going to turn my music down a little bit more because it feels a little bit loud. Um, so this is the OST Composing Jam. Uh, it is a game jam on, on itch and... Uh, Hello, Judy Man. You came back. Uh, that's that's wonderful. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, I hope I hope you enjoy enjoy this. This is this is going to be a very like I'm aware that a lot of the streams it's me chatting back to people. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do that with this stream, but please please feel free to chime in and say things. I'm I'm very interested to see. 
to get other people's thoughts on this. Because normally, normally this is just me on my own making a load of noises and sort of going, oh, maybe that works, and oh, maybe that doesn't. Um, and Squeenie Todd is here as well! Amazing! I'm so glad you could make it. I, I hope that this is something... Um, this is this provides something of interest to people. I, I don't really know what it would be like for background listening. But anyway, to get back to the, the task at hand. So this is the OST Composing Jam. Uh, it's slightly scary in that there's 460 other musicians taking part in this, which is kind of a scary thing. Um, I don't remember how many people took part in the in the the first one, but uh, yeah. So um, it's wonderful to see it grow. Uh, I think for the for the first one um, there was less people, but yeah, and it's 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 great to be doing this. I missed the second one, um, and also in the first one I came second, so no pressure or anything, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. Here is our theme. So our theme, we have a picture prompt, and we have uh, a a uh, a text prompt as well. We don't. Ha we can use one or the other, or we can use both. Um, and this is what we've got. So the text prompt is "Story of Seasons," which, as far as I'm aware, is already a game. Um, but then we also have this fantastic fantastic image here that is that has been made for especially for this jam um so yeah this is what we're so i had a th I, I checked so i was i was at work earlier on today i basically i came straight from work i had about an hour and then uh, and then i hopped on hopped on stream so um i've had a bit of time to think about it and i feel like the obvious first choice hello hello i, I don't know how to say your name boazb I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call you Boaz from now, but thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us um, We're We're here making music for the OST composing jam the third OST composing jam uh, And this is these this is what we've got to work with so I feel like When I sort of saw this I think my first idea was oh we'll we'll do a we'll do a farming game You know we'll we'll, we'll do uh a story of seasonings. <laughs> yeah, something spicy. A spicy soundtrack. I like that idea. Uh, well, my, so my first idea was let's do something farm related. You know, let's do a Stardew Valley-esque uh, soundtrack. Let's do so because I, I wanted to do something slightly more upbeat and something more fun. Um, something that's slightly more kind of chip tuney than, than perhaps everything else that I do. Um, but, uh, and I feel like a farming game or something like doing something in the style of Stardew Valley is a good choice because you get you've automatically got four tracks you can compose. Um, but here's the thing, I I really love this image. There's I really like this, um, and I think what I think would be more interesting, and I think this is probably what I'm gonna do. Bunny with a switchblade! Oh, okay. Right, okay. That's all the pieces falling into place. Right, okay. Hello, Bunny with a switchblade. I'm just gonna call you... I'm just gonna call you Bunny with a switchblade, because that's an amazing name. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Um, but yeah, so, I'm looking at this image, and I'm thinking... Uh, we do... Something kind of like... Uh, Chicory, or uh, there's a game called called Gris that kind of does a similar thing. I think. Uh, so here's 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 where I'm at, and I hear, and this is kind of where I think I'm gonna go with it. I like the idea of doing something that is slightly more adaptive. So like it starts in one way and then it changes uh, as you progress through the level. So I like the idea of you've got our main character here, our protagonist, um, who travels to worlds or, or, or places where there is no color. And through, I think it's a, I think it's a, in my head, it's a puzzle game. And 
uh, as as you start putting the puzzles together, as you start solving, more colors start appearing and more, you know, flowers start springing up, uh, animals start springing up, and uh, it starts to build that way. So it goes from something quite quite dark and quite uh, gloomy and quite restrained um, to a world that is full of color. So it, the tracks are probably going to start quite muted and quite atmospheric and then move up to being these really lovely, uh, evocative, um, happy sort of sounds. So that's what I think I'm going for um, right now. So I think for... I don't quite know what the sounds are going to be. Like, I've got a few references that I kind of want to work with. Um, annoyingly, so I'm going to let me just turn this off for a second. Annoyingly, I wanted to do something with um, <laughs> with the uh, with with my my wonderful my baby uh, my uh, my Mo grandmother, but I don't I don't think. Uh, we're gonna quite get something just because the sounds are very. It's a bit more. Uh... It's a bit more. Uh... Fla flamboyant's maybe a bit too much, but um... yeah. So you've got your. This is this is my favorite like bit of kit. Thanks. something with that. I think I think we could absolutely do something with with the grandmother synth. I also have um, also for going for something that is is very sort of natural sounding and very um, very kind of all about bringing nature back to 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 places. Uh, I've also got I've also got my guitar. I could maybe do something with that. Um, so yeah, I think we've got we've got some interesting. We've got a basis for something. I think is the important thing. So I think the next stage is to start just playing around with stuff. So I think probably the best thing to do. Uh, let me think. Let me turn that. Let's let's try this. So I don't know how interesting this is going to be to to watch, but hopefully it'll be a little bit more interesting to listen to. Um, I've got. Turn that up. Imagine a game we had to travel through four worlds based on different seasons. Ooh, I quite like that idea actually. That's, that's Oh that's real loud, I'm sorry. So uh this is my Knocked over a couple of bells. So this is my Yamaha Reface CP. It's a very small um, keyboard, but it has a lot of electric piano sounds. So this this is where uh, most of the sounds for the tower came from, from and a lot of kind of ideas. It's got, it's got a nice, slightly thicker sound. a game like that where you have to travel through four worlds based on different seasons and it gets harder as the season world gets naturally colder and bleaker but it's all about finding the beauty of the world regardless i like that i really like that uh hmm
See, this is where the stream stops being interesting because it's literally just me sitting quietly while I think about stuff. <laughs> it's just not quite as entertaining as it should be. Um, well, let's... Also, so my cha my challenge for for this uh, this OST composing jam is uh, is that I'm not allowed. To, it's not allowed to be an F. And the reason it's not allowed to be an F is that uh, I'm, I'm I genuinely mean this. All of the tower is more or less in F, uh, and the last soundtrack that I did for OST Composing Jam was also in F. So uh, I feel like I need to get away from the key of F. Because <laughs> I'm a semi-professional musician now and I feel, like I, I feel like I need to start using the other keys, you know? <laughs> so let's, let's see what we got. Let's... F's in chat for songs in F. <laughs> so here's a little uh, um, musician trick for you, if if there are any musicians watching. Way to make chord any chord interesting is add a add a seventh. So you know you've got your that's your E flat major. That's pretty, that's an interesting chord, but can we make it more interesting if we add uh, a seventh? Ooh. All of a sudden it's a little more ambiguous. That's nice. That's... Where's that going? See, normally I have to worry about remembering these, but I'm streaming, so <laughs> that's the other reason to do this. Can I add a bit more? You can hear the piano, right? I'm not just playing this to no one, and I'm because it says it's coming through, but I could be wrong. Good, good. I'm, gl I'm glad. I'm glad you can hear the piano. Otherwise, th it kind of defeats a little bit of the, the point of this. Okay, uh, I'm liking whatever this is at the moment. And then we go to... I do love this. So this is the sound of a, a Wurlitzer, uh, a Wurlitzer piano, and if you've listened to the tower, you you, rec you like it's it's the main the main sound. Yeah. Uh, um. same sound it's the same not quite the same effects but yeah it's the same um, um, you, you know the rest of it but yeah it's the same uh, it's the same sound and it's it's very good for coming up with stuff if you're wanting to get away from that uh, very a uh, typical piano sound, and I, I think the more music I make and the more soundtracks I do, the more inclined I am to use a sound like like this. Um, there's them good tower sounds, because this does have an actual. It's not a great piano sound, but it's, it's very um. It's a very eighties, sorry nineties piano sound. It's very um. But uh, yeah, I think because I think it's very easy if you're a composer to use, especially when it comes to stuff like what 80s prom night. <laughs> if you're if you're trying to make 
something slightly more ambient or slightly, something more cinematic. I think it's very natural to lean towards using the piano sound as a crutch to a certain extent. And for, for something like this, I kind of want to be something slightly more atmospheric. So it's, I quite like doing the, quite like our sort of very lovely, um, slightly foggier sounds, I think. Let's turn that up a bit. So where does that go? That needs to go somewhere. Uh, hang on, let's see if I can... Hmm. So... And you can't hear that now because that's not plugged in. <laughs> okay, 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 let's... Like, yeah, I quite like, I like just having, because I didn't know how, I think the difficult bit is going to be the beginning, where it's quite dreary and quite muted, because I don't want it to, I don't want it to feel like hammy, I guess. I feel like it's, you know, you, you could, you, I think it'd be very easy to have your very, you know, um, your very, uh. You know, like nothing there, just just these kind of, or or opposite way, you've got your very high kind of. I'm add a bit more delay to that. <laughs> but it's, it's not quite there. I thought that was Star Trek. Um, Yeah, but I, I quite like just having, I like, I want to have some kind of melodic movement at the beginning in the drearier section so that when it grows later on, um, we can add stuff rather than like having to change tack because I think it was in uh, a, I think it was Civilization Five. It was interesting where, or six, I don't, I don't know how many games of those there have been, but you you started out and the music was very quiet. It was very, um, you had uh, like maybe just a couple of instruments and then it gradually, the more, the larger your uh, civilization grew, the more it turned into, uh, the more the music grew into like a full orchestra and then it kind of became, it got rearranged into something slightly more futuristic, well, futuristic. So I kind of want to do something like that, but slightly less obvious, slightly more subtle, and more to do with colours and moods and shapes and, and, and things. A grey day gloomy, yes, that's, that's definitely kind of what I'm going for. That's, that's the idea. Um, so... Oh, no, 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 I was wrong. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I think I, th I really like these chords. I really like, and especially now we've got a bit more delay on there, a little bit more reverb. So you've got your... I think that sounds really nice. I think that's tasty. <laughs> not, to, not to be weird or anything.
I think we might have found our key. So that's that's your. Oops, sorry, that was really aggressive. Um, that's an E, E flat, major seventh, added with a ninth, added ninth. If there are any any musical theory nerds in the audience. Oh, it should technically be. Which I also like. Um, and then I think that's a an F minor, but F minor seven, but with the the, the seventh on the bottom. I like that. I think I think that's gonna stay. Because then you've got a kind of strong basis. Because then, then, then you're moving. Your your chord movement is. Uh, uh, that's kind of your, your bass movement. But then you can also you could also go. Ooh, that's exciting. That's exciting. Let's let's give that a go. So let's stick around with the bass for a bit. I think maybe that's the second part. To, I need to. Be, I, need, I should be writing this down somewhere. I'll just. I'll just watch the stream. I'll just watch the stream back. I'll be. I'll. I'll, I'll be one of those people that watches their own streams as soon as they're done with them. Um, yeah, that's a good start. So you've got your. You start off with your. Your nice chords. Your your lovely, lovely tasty chords. And then you can add in a bass line. Just to get a little bit of extra movement in there. And then potentially move in a different direction. Mm. That's interesting. I like that idea a lot. Okay. Um, let's get some ideas down. I'm just gonna go back onto chatting while I while I get this set up because I need to get uh, all my recording stuff now set up. So. So if you're interested in seeing where this is going, I'm going to be uh, streaming at the same time on Sunday night and then again on Monday night. Uh, which, uh, you know, I'll put the music back on. Let's put that back on. There we go. Um, yeah, let's... What do I need to do? Ignore that. I need to install something for OBS. So this might this might not potentially work, just because the uh, the plugin that I need to use to make this work is a bit buggy, but we will wait and see. Um. Pause that for a second. Oh, is that not work? It's not work. It's not working, is it? Okay. No problem. So it looks like we'll just we'll just be recording piano stuff today. Uh, won't be doing anything f fancy. And let's 
So I think I will. That's a good idea. Rune Runes has asked everybody what their favorite season is and uh, what what do you like about that? I think that's that's a good. Yes, let's have some things to talk about while I fiddle around <laughs> with with all this all this slightly boring music technology. Um, yeah, I yeah, Bunny with a switchblade. I would actually agree. I think. Uh, my favorite season would also be fall, or as we call it, or as, as we call it in Scotland, autumn. Um, yeah, I like jumpers. I like jumpers a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm very much a, I, I'm a jumper person. Uh, right, where we do uh, colors? Let's give us a nice purple color. Uh, so we want input two. I have that recording. Yep, you can hear that. That's good. So, I think I'm just going to roll this and just have that recording. So you've got your... I'll just leave that rolling. And then we'll put this, put this image back up so we can, we can see it properly. So yeah, I'm thinking... Do we have a... What's, what's it? See, I don't, I don't hate that. I just think it's a bit, it's a bit too muted, I think. I do like this, the, it's, a, it's a Fender Rhodes sound. messing around now that doesn't help anyone okay so back to our world it's our sounds our tasty 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 uh well it's our sounds so let's get some chords down here in the in in this part of the love in this part of the music we're over here that that needs another note hang on so hang on where are we cuz that's quite a full chord whereas this still sounds a bit That was just wrong. That was just the wrong notes. Oh, hello. So I really like winter. Um, winter for me is writing time. You know, I, winter's normally when it's like, right, time to go indoors. Time to... Uh, 
you know, time to have some warm drinks, time to wrap up in lots of clothes inside and uh, and then do some writing. You know, I wrote the, I wrote the, I've, I've written all the seasons of the tower in winter. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, maybe it's this, it's probably the seasonal defective disorder, but it's, it's the time when I'm, I'm, I get into writing mode tends to be in winter. Um, and yeah, more excuse to wear jumpers, right? Like more of an excuse. Lots of tea and hot chocolate and get busy writing. That is, that is winter for me. Well, it's, it's usually winter. This time around, it's, it's been a lot more, lots of tea and hot chocolate and, Sleeping in a sort of anxious way, <laughs> mm. but um, yeah, uh, I like winter. I I think I would prefer winter elsewhere because in Scotland, winter increasingly in in Scotland, winter is uh, is very rainy. Um, there's lots of rain, like like just torrential and i don't mind that i actually really like rain but it's having to go to work and having to come home and be at work and be soggy at work um it's a uh, yeah it's it's not quite as nice as just staying inside and watching it and or recording it in my case i i've i've a folder full of rain sounds um i hope to do more of these streams and at some point i will I will crack out the rain folder and we can listen to all the rain sounds I have. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna count I'm gonna see how many I have just now while I'm actually, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move it over to this window so you can't see it. <laughs> uh hang on. Uh sound library ambiences rain. There we go, rain folder. How many files do I have? One Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I have I have nineteen rain sounds. Um nineteen different recordings of rain. And I I wish I could say they're all different, but uh but yeah, that's 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 my rain folder. Um, I'm preparing for my first winter in a much colder state. Snow is great until you've got to deal with it personally. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, in another two weeks, I'm set to be done with the heavy lifting part of production for a while, and I'm looking forward to curling up with writing for a while. Yeah, so I'm kind of in a similar place because I'm actually going, I've, I've mentioned this, uh, I'm going freelance full time at the end of the year. So I'm currently working my notice at my part-time job. And... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having space for new ideas. I feel like I haven't really had that. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a couple of new ideas and and lots of uh, lots of new ideas. We're currently writing um, the Tower Part Three. The, the sort of start, the beginnings of the writing process of the Tower Part Three has started, and um, there's a new idea that uh, David Pello and I have been talking about. It's very exciting. And yeah, and also I kind of want that, like, not to be sorry. I know I'm supposed to be doing music. I apologize. I'm getting chatty. Um, another thing I'm looking forward to is trying out new things. Like I've been wanting to. Uh, I've kind of gone back and forth with making. This is get this. This is getting hella nerdy. Like text adventure games and visual novels and that kind of thing. And I'd love to make more of those because. Mm. They're just fun, and I feel like because I because I have to, because I spend so much time making podcasts, like it's uh, it means I don't have time to be a nerd another way.
Ah, I lost it. I lost the chords. I lost the chords. I, I thought I had something going there, and then, hang on, I'll, I'll try that again. It's only now I realize how many, so much silly noises, like unnecessary silly noises, I make when I'm making music. I'm here playing the piano, but I'm still like, oh, bloop, bloop, as though I'm as though I'm voice acting. I, uh, Economic model reaction noises in real time. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, like we, we just we just put Roger in the corner with a microphone to do his recording, and then there's me just in the microphone reacting to what he's saying. That's how we record it. Like the the no word of a lie. Like pulling back the curtain. Like we have talked we we have talked about this, but uh, we could never do. A dungeon economic model live show as much as i would love to do one but it would genuinely it would be roger doing a very good job being a professional voice actor and 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 delivering these very very intense scripts and then just me uh, like standing next to him just going oh oh <laughs> ah! i'm not uh, yeah uh as much as i would love that i'm not sure it would it would it would quite work um Although that, that sounds like a good time, but, uh, yeah. I had something I was going to say and I've forgotten what it was. Oh, well, I think we're getting, I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting the start here. You know, we're, we're, we're getting the beginnings of a chord sequence. Um, also what's really nice is that questions, musical kind of questions are coming out of it naturally. Uh, because uh, with when you're making soundtracks to kind of keep people to keep it sounding um, interesting, that would be a hilarious art piece performance. I feel like art piece would be stretching it, but I mean, <laughs> whatever gets us the funding, you know. Um, so what what's interesting about the idea that we've got right now uh, is that we have phrases that are coming out naturally and they're asking questions but they're not being answered so the the so if you're if you're not aware of, of the concept uh, question and answer music dead easy to explain you have you have a a, a phrase that that's a question that's the answer you know what, what one half a phrase sets something up and the other that answers it um whereas What's interesting in film music, and you, you get this a lot, it's something that Hans Zimmer does a lot, and I think it's what Hans Zimmer does really, really well, is have lots of questions, lots of like leading tones that sound like they, they want to go somewhere, but you don't quite get anywhere. And so it kind of keeps you keeps your, your ear interested because you, your brain is kind of waiting to see where it's going next. But then you just throw another question in there. Um, so uh, that's already happening, and for... For some, for a, a bit that's going to happen at the beginning of a piece, that's good. That's really, really good. Um, so you know, that's a question, and then I think uh, that's an answer. Oops, what chord was that? Ooh. That's a question. Where are 
everything. Um, no, that doesn't sound right. I don't like. Uh. See, normally these conversations happen in my head, <laughs> so it's 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 nice to have them out loud. I don't know. I don't know how uh, how interesting it is. got it came all the way back around and then we got it we can add other interesting bits in later but this is just a nice uh, kind of bit to I think we've got our beginning I think we're there I think we've I think we've got it I think we're good at it. Really... and then go down to this is sounds like an answer but it's actually more of a mm, I don't know I think that, mm, that's something that, that can be more interesting hang on Okay, I'm happy with that. That's a good. So we got the beginning. So we got the beginning. I don't know if it's more natural to have it at the beginning and then move up, but let's have a play around with some ideas for what we can have at the end. Um, let me think. Right, let's turn that all the way down. So we're gonna move back. We're gonna move back to the grandmother. We're gonna do that. And just gonna... Don't mind these sounds, they're not important. There we go, where are you going? There. You can get some really nice lead sounds out of this. Be real good. Is that how loud is that? There we go. We can do something interesting here, though, as well. I feel we can <laughs> pay no attention to any of these sounds. Um, no, that's... So since I since I got this, I've realized it's really, really good for synth bass sounds. Like, uh, I'm going to turn the... It's got some really nice... Turn that down. Really nice bass sounds. While also you get quite nice uh, chip sounds as well. Baseline for our piano chords. So we're st no, it's not that. <laughs> it's a terrible sound. Turn that up a bit. Um. 
Um... Oh, I think this is still recording, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is still recording. Right. Okay. So all all this is being is being saved. Apparently, this is all going in. Okay. So what chord we're starting on. Let's use the arpeggiator. Let's give that a go. Let's turn that down, and then if we go... Not that. That's bad. <laughs> that does not sound good at all. So that doesn't seem to be... Let's have a think. I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna stick the music back on. And I'm just gonna have a think. Because... If... As much as I said the beginning's gonna be the tricky part, I feel like I'm having slightly more trouble now. Um, growing up to a bigger thing. You know, growing up to a slightly bigger size. So I'm not quite sure what the what the idea would be there. Um, I'm just gonna stop the stop the recording. Because I feel like, I feel like we've got a good basis. I feel like we've got a good start, which is which is good, which is great. Mm. I'll tell you what. Uh, I think we're gonna take a five. I'm gonna take a five-minute break. I'm just gonna leave this music on. Uh, I'm gonna go away, have a think, and then come back and we can play around with some more ideas. So uh, I'll be uh, back in five minutes. See you in a bit.
Okay, so, uh, we're back. I've had an idea. I know what we can do. Uh, I'm just gonna stick that back up there. Uh, and stick you guys back up here. So you can see my face. Uh, but, I need to set up a microphone. So I'm gonna set up my microphone and chat at the same time. So, uh, this is actually my new microphone. And I'm very excited to be testing it out at long last. Uh, so, this is my new microphone. It is a... It is a sexy beast. <laughs> this is a, an Aston Spirit. Um, it's a microphone I've been after for a while. And uh, I'm going to use it to record some guitar. Because I had an idea for something we can, can use some guitar to add a bit of kind of organic texture to the piano parts. So, yes, I need to set it up first. So, yeah. Actually, let's go back to... Let's, uh... Here's something we can do. So... I don't think I'm gonna use the name Story of Seasons. Um... Because I feel like... That, as much as I think it does link really, really well to the image... I think there's a better name. So... Chat, if you have suggestions for, uh what to name our entry uh, into into OST Composing Jam number three. Um, stick them in the chat. I am all ears uh, to hear them. I find coming up with names for, for instrumental pieces of music extremely difficult. Uh, I find just names are hard anyway. You know, it's why um, <laughs> it's why I, I came up with a, a show that uh, is in incredibly difficult to find on to find on Tumblr. Uh, and other sites because it shares its name with one of the most popular tarot cards uh, in, the, in the Major Arcana, which is unfortunate. Okay. Oh, where's the cable? Oh, it's... Okay. Uh... Just stick that. Cycle of colors, life of leaves. Ooh, those are both very, very good, I see. I feel like we... I like life of leaves because I f like the idea that it's related to nature is... Sorry, I'm plugging something in. That's why I look really weird. There we go. Um, is that right? Is that working? I should probably turn the input up. Um... Oh, come on. Yeah, we're good. This, this, this is the life of, of somebody who makes music. You spend a lot of time clicking in front of microphones. Oh, God. Apologies. I appear to have shorted out everyone's ears there. Um, so, yeah. This is the... I'll turn this one now. This is the sound of the other microphone. <laughs> This is the Aston Spirit talking. And this is my Aston Spirit voiceover voice. I don't know why it's coming through all, uh, all chorusy at my end. I don't know if you're getting that. But we're going to use it to record some guitar. It's very exciting. Although I'm going to let this song finish because I'm really, I'm really proud of this. I'm really proud of this remix. Um, let's just pop that back down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
it's working. That's the important thing. Okay. Imagine this sounds a bit weird. And I put oh, I know why it's doing that. That probably sounded fine for you, but weird for me. Okay. Just gonna put that on record. So, I quite... I think I need to think more about what the puzzles actually look like, because uh, I don't quite know what that looks like. I, I hope you can still hear me, by the way. I'm sort of... Um, uh, the microphone's all the way down there now. Um, I, don't, I don't know why I did a, jo I don't know why I did a, a Beatles voice. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't... I think I need to think more about the story behind it. Like, I think at the moment I'm... Like, when I came up with uh, The Missing Mountain, which was the last... Um, the last entry I had to OST Comp Jam, it's, uh... <laughs> uh, it's, um... Yeah, it, it's, um... It didn't quite... Like, I had a very s strong idea of what the story was, whereas I feel with this one, it's not quite as strong. Okay, I'm gonna... Just pause that for a second. So... Oh, I'm still recording. Oh, excellent. Okay, so because I'm, uh, because I'm using a microphone that's uh, that's down here, uh, and the reason it's down there is so you can hear hear me playing guitar. Um, because I thought it might be fun to add, because if we've got our chords that you remember from the piano. And if we added just a little bit of extra, um... Um... Feels nice to like as as like a second layer. Um, uh, <laughs> when I actually when I when I actually play the right notes. I should tell you what I need. To, I should probably pop the camera down. Eh. You gonna go down? No. Is that as low as we're gonna get? Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. Ah. I like that. I think I think that works really nicely. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's that's a nice little extra. 
texture. Is there any other way we can phrase that? I'm very aware. Hang on. Oh. So what I've done is I've just moved moved the capo up an extra couple of frets, so you get a, get a slightly different. I'm doing I'm, like I'm doing the same chords. I'm just kind of just playing them on a guitar and playing them in a slightly different phrasing than on the keyboard. like one on one channel one on so like you've got your and then have that in one one headphone one side of the mix and then have the other one which it which would be a slightly different it'd be color. Uh, uh, where's it gone? And then it goes back to the beginning. So yeah, I like that. I think we've got some nice guitar bits here. Uh, I'm glad I'm recording all of this because I'll have completely forgotten by tomorrow. Uh, See, I don't, I don't, so I, I started out on the bass guitar and then moved to guitar and then I moved to kind of keyboards and synthesizers and pianos and stuff. Um, but I think because I went so far in the other direction, when I come back to playing the guitar, I, I, it's, it feels uh, very, um, very natural to me. But at the same time, like, I feel like I find it harder to write stuff on the guitar. But when I do write stuff, I, I enjoy it very much. Like, uh, um... oh, no, hang on. keyboards and pianos and stuff. Um, also you get to play with cool stuff like this. So we've got, we have some things. We've got text. I'm going to turn this microphone back up so you can actually hear me again. Uh, yeah, so we've got textures. We've got, um, we've got a chord sequence, which is a very good start. We have the beginnings of something. I, I suspect... So I quite like the idea of going back to what Somebody said, I think it was Rooney Runes, actually. We have to travel through four worlds based on different seasons and it gets harder. Why? How about tasty music textures? I do love a bit of tasty music texture. But how about we kind of tilt it on its head a little bit in that you're starting in winter. You know, so you, winter you've got the piano sounds. And then as you solve these puzzles, 
you start moving through the seasons. Because then the the names, the names that people are coming up with, cycle of leaves, rhythm of leaves, uh, life of leaves, cycle of colors, like those would all work. Those 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 would all work. So you're kind of the player would kind of be. I'm failing on my mythology here, but the 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 bringer of seasons. And then, but then we could call it story of seasons if you wanted to. But I don't know. I feel like we could. I feel like there's something there. I like the idea of it being kind of slightly more cyclical, cyclical, and using that as a base. And rather than coming up with lots of different themes, you could just have one. Little, and there you go. You could have little nods to four seasons. I don't think I'll do that, but the opportunity is there. Um. I like that idea. That that that's that's interesting because then also it means you can kind of bring it down towards the end. Or, or when you come back to winter the second time round, it's different in that like the the big beginnings are there. I Demeter, I that that's not clicking with me. Uh, is that is a uh, yeah? I wheel of leaves. Ah. All oh, right, sorry, that was a different thing. Sorry, okay. I'm reading stuff like this. Make a Persephone. Okay, Pers that could be interesting. Yes! Now that's interesting, working off, working off that. Would you like a refill of tea? Uh, yes, that would be lovely, thank you. I'll give you that. Thank you. Um, yeah, we could do a, we could do a Persephone, couldn't we? This could be... This could be our Persephone. I like that. That's that's interesting. I like that a lot. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna put this down because it's hard not to be very self-conscious when you're when you're holding a guitar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like you could absolutely make it a journey, kind of, kind of more of a journey thing, and like. I, I, what I did with the, like, I like an escape from Hades. Mm. I don't know if we're maybe falling slightly too far down another direction, but Persephone is an interesting, ta an interesting thread to pull on. Um, but I, I kind of, I need to, I need to kind of remind myself of the story because it's been a while since I've, I've probably thought about it but yeah um i'm gonna pack up this this other microphone but i'm gonna sorry i'll stick the stick this back on uh next one um oh you're still recording oh god <laughs> yeah so we've got we've, we've we've got a good i mean there's there's 25 minutes of noodling in the file right now um which I imagine probably translates to about maybe five. But I don't know, I feel like... If you t kind of turned it around the other way... Um, is that for me? It is for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, I think you could turn that on its... Yeah. I think you could... Make it more of an escape. Like, I quite like the idea of escaping Hades. Escaping the end of the seasons. That's also interesting. Because if you're escaping sort of the end of the it could be that you're... Uh, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of it being a sort of chill puzzle game. Um, kind of in the realm of a monster's journey. Uh, or... Uh, Gris or that kind of thing. Something that still has an emotional center to it. But it's... It's... Like, I want to make something chilled, <laughs> I guess. Um, that's... Mm, interesting. I'm going to pack up this microphone while I, while I kind of think about this. But, um... By the way, whoever, whoever mentioned uh, Aston Martins in the... In, in the chat, I, I did. I have been telling people that I now own an Aston. 
And that definitely makes me cool and not sad in any way. Persephone is an interesting thread. I'm like, thank you for bringing that one in because that is interesting. I'm gonna put this back on here. Um, I'm aware I've not done much recording, but this 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 is honestly a lot a large part of the process. Is just playing around with stuff, and talking out loud, walking around with them, uh, having your significant other bring you hot drinks. <laughs> exactly, I own an <laughs> I own an Aston, and I have it. I have it here in my pocket. I'm also pleased to see you. Uh, right, so packing everything in the box. If like if uh, so, this is the music you're hearing is from the original, um, my first OST jam entry, and. That was very um, Ghibli, Ghibli, Zelda influenced, and I feel like that's kind of my default is to go for the, sl the slightly more kind of big epic, um, you know, I don't know. The, the big uh, sort of anime music, I guess, with that, with, for, for want of a better term, that kind of big cinematic, emotional kind of music, lots of suspended chords, lots of impressionist touches, that kind of thing. Um, whereas, like, I, I fell in love with video game music through, like, Nintendo games, you know? Like, things like Kirby and... <laughs> Legend of Zedge and Breath of the Wef. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, you know, as, as much as things like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask were, were huge influences on, on um, the music that I make now and continue to be a big influence on the music that I make now, like, I also really like, you know, Fun chip tune games that that like like Monsters Journey or uh, even stuff like Sim City. Like the music from some Sim City is amazing, and and I love it very very much. Um, I think I'm one of the few people that like. So I'm, I know I have a, a plethora of weird things, but this is another weird thing. I really enjoy golf video games because they usually have really good music. They have like really chilled out, especially like older ones. They have really chilled out game music um or something like pilot wings i'm ju i'm just w welcome to old people corner now by the way <laughs> right. talk about games from the 90s that nobody remembers anymore um golf tycoon was that a game i feel like that was a game wasn't it i don't know i'm just i'm just getting all silly now but yeah like you know i made a whole i made a whole release based on Menu video game menu music, and I'm really proud of that. Like it seems, it seems nobody listened to it, but <laughs> like it's 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 a thing I'm really proud of, and I love that genre of uh, ch chill surf rock. You see, this is what I'm saying. Like golf games and strategy games and puzzle games. Like I like m the music for that kind of thing. Like I'm trying to think of trying to think of really good examples, but um. Or, or at least examples I can play on stream, you know? Um, but yeah, I kind of... I, I, want to, I want to do something slightly more... rooted in video games. Uh, and I like the idea of doing your puzzles and, and things and playing around with that. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think... I think I'm going to call it there for tonight, to be honest. I think I've got... We've got some really interesting ideas for a, for a start to kind of kick things off. And I think once that gets recorded and once we start playing around with that and adding extra music, I didn't properly set things up today and I'm, I'm, I apologize for that. But um, next time we'll actually get into, get into the project file and start recording stuff. 
and uh, you know start putting together textures and bringing in new ideas and bringing bringing in a bit of rhythm and in things like I'm I'm excited to see where it goes but I think we've got a solid foundation and I think we've got some really interesting ideas I'll I'll kind of have a think about them uh, tomorrow and come up with maybe like a very loose story um, around this and put something together and then uh, we can go into the proper recording um, recording idea with that um, uh, with that next time and then we actually move into uh, making the fun bits having the fun bits you know putting in extra tracks putting in weird bits and putting in clever bits um, the next stream is going to be a lot more intense and uh, a lot more uh, noisy, I think, as well. But in a good way. In a good way, I hope. Um, but thank you very much for thank you very much for coming along. Like I was not expecting as many people to be here as there are. <laughs> I was kind of yeah. I was not expecting as many people uh, to be here as 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 they are. So um, thank you all for being here. The next the next time I'm going to be working on this is going to be on Sunday, same time, seven p.m. UK time. Um, it'll probably be a longer stream because I'll be uh, I'll be actually you know make it, I'll be recording stuff and playing stuff around. Um, also be using uh, the patent pending <laughs> camera that has fallen over. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, this camera was meant to be pointing at that over there. Uh, <laughs> So this is going to be our very high tech and official uh, piano cam, which I'll definitely sort out by the next stream. So if I'm doing big piano parts, you can actually see me over there recording them. Um... <laughs> F and chat for the piano cam. <laughs> That went so badly. <laughs> I think <laughs> F in camera. <laughs> anyway, I'll have that fixed by Sunday, uh, and then we'll actually have some stuff. And then uh, on Monday it'll be more recording, and then uh, hopefully more uh, actually finishing some stuff and finishing the ideas and and things as well. Um, but thank you all so much for being here, and thank you for sticking around. Like I, this is the kind of stream I want to be doing in the future. Is is as much as I really enjoy playing video games. Like you know, this is this is what I do. This this is what I do for fun. This is um, I. This is me getting to do what I really enjoy doing and what I think I do quite well. Um, so I'd love to do more streams like this, even outside of a, a, a composing jam. But that's some, that's something for next year. That's something for when I'm <laughs> when I'm unemployed. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna leave you with uh, I'm gonna leave you with um, what do you want to be left with? What uh, I do? Anyone have any any request? Tell you what, I'll put the. I'll put this one back on because I'm really proud of it and I'll turn it up. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and um, I will hopefully see you on Sunday. I hope you, I hope you can join us. Take care and uh, good night.